Happy Friday, happy Friday. Happy beautiful and blessed Friday. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna put no more videos on Facebook, but I might put this one on there. I just wanna say I appreciate like everybody that encourages me, everybody that you know sees my videos and don't roll their eyes or don't feel some kind of hate or negativity. I appreciate y'all. Um, so, I don't even know where this came from or why this is on my heart. It's really about me though, but I'm sure it can apply to other people. Alright, I want y'all to know that I am far far from I would never say like I'm I don't know how to put it. I believe in Jesus. I believe, you know, I'm a believer. I'm trying to follow Christ. But man, I struggle. I got sins. I really, really wish that I could be so transparent and just my pastor is very transparent. I want to be like that. But I'm still in, in the stage of life where I fear being judged. I know I shouldn't. I know that's wrong. But I'm, I struggle, right? Right. I've been delivered of many things. That's where the power of God is evident in my life. I've been delivered of a lot of stuff. Well, I was saying, though, I don't want to get on here and talk about God and try to make make it seem like I'm a holy roller or like I'm just a, trying to make it, make it come off like I'm a preacher. Because people that know me personally, they know I'm just regular. Like I'm just a normal person. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to make it. But... With that being said, to people who have been delivered of things, to people who have who, who are saved, to people who are walking with Christ and experiencing the peace of Christ, which is the best thing in this world, don't lose sight of where you came from. Don't lose don't I'm guilty of this and I had to really check myself. But I know a lot of people do it too. Don't judge people who are struggling or st still stuck in sin. Don't write them off and dismiss them like they just no good. Because not only were you probably struggling with something similar at one time, you're still struggling with stuff. It may seem less important to you. It may seem like less... Um, of an offense or what you know whatever but I don't think God's up there with a, a measuring stick saying that this sin's worse than this sin and this sin's worse than this sin so and then I'm gonna tell you how this applies to me I was delivered from meth oh I hate to even say that I don't even want to put that out there for the simple fact that the people who know you know what I mean like I said I don't want to I want to keep my business and and, and uh, personal life separate but if somebody needs to hear this, I'm going to tell it. And, and God forbid I, I lose any business because of it. Okay? One day I'm going to tell it all. And a lot of people already know it all. But to the new uh, people who know me just because of the business, they don't know my past and my history. But one day I'm going to tell it all. And it's going to, in Jesus' name, it's going to help some people. Um I've been delivered of something that I know I had no power against. I had no chance in hell to, to, to deliver myself, right? So God answered my prayers, answered my family's prayers, and delivered me from meth addiction. How about I find myself looking at people on meth like I'm disgusted by them? And in a way, I understand why. It's because I'm disgusted by the drug itself. I'm disgusted by the way it makes people act and the way it makes people, people do. But I, how dare me pass judgment on somebody that's doing, that's, that's stuck in that in a way to where like, I don't, you know, I, I can't explain it. Say if I'm in church and I see somebody and I'm like, dang, I think they probably... I think they're probably on, on dope. And I hope I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying because I don't know how to say it any different. I don't think I'm saying it 
perfect though. We can't judge people who are still bound by things that we've been freed from like we're any better than them. The only reason we're in any better position than them is because of the love of God. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we need to pray for them. That's it. That's what was on my heart. Five minute video. Oh. And um, like I said, I appreciate all y'all. Eventually, I'm going to put, I'm putting these on YouTube anyways, but eventually I'm just going to put videos on YouTube. Uh, but man, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Pray for those people. Whatever it is that you look down on, whatever it is that if somebody's doing it, you, you, you judge them. And I know people want to say like, I'm not judging them or... We can judge, we can judge with righteous judgment and all that and this and that. But you can't look at somebody like there's no hope for them when you've been delivered from the same, if not worse, things. And still, I know you're still struggling. We're all still struggling with stuff too. So, you know, just pray. Like I said, I wanted to be delivered of this. There's things in my life that I want to be delivered of. Uh and I know sanctification is a process, but I'm out of here. Love y'all.